Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to install Ruby on Rails on Windows 7, 8, and 10. So it's going to work everywhere, wherever you are on Windows environment. And this is going to be Ruby on Rails 5. So to install Ruby on Rails on Windows 10 computer, you want to make sure that you already have installed Ruby. So to get Ruby, you simply go to rubyinstaller.org. This is the website. And then go to downloads page here you can click here or here on github and this is my 64-bit operating system you can choose the uh, 64-bit or 32-bit ruby package basically here from so i would recommend you go with the 2.3 below 2.3.3 2.2.6 2.1 and 2.0 and you download it. So I already have downloaded Ruby installer 2.3.3. Now the next step is going to be a development kit download. So since it's 64 bit, I'll go with this one. If it's 32 bit, you go with the first one. So I already have downloaded it here, you can see. Now we will go ahead and quickly install the Ruby on Rails and extract the dev kit on windows 10 computer so first you just double click on this ruby installer wherever it is on your system and then say ok and accept the terms license whatever it is and then check all these boxes okay and then install it this is going to take just few seconds in the meanwhile we can go ahead and extract this file as well so double click on it and in here all you want to say is dev kit, nothing else. So it's a case sensitive. Make sure you type correctly dev kit and extract it. Alrighty, so there are two things going on, and make sure you follow them correctly. It's a very easy process, okay? I'm going to make it very easy, very easy. So this is done ruby installation is done i'm going to say finish let it be extracted and then go to the command prompt i'm going to launch the cmd I'm going to check if it's ruby been installed ruby 2.3.3 that's awesome i'm going to exit and focus on dev kit development kit here should not take long time once this extraction is done we need the command prompt so i'm going to launch the cmd again and you want to go on here to the c drive and get into the dev kit So now you are in the dev kit extraction is done. Here you want to say Ruby DK RB in it. I have few things here that you can make a note of. This is what we're going to do. And then enter. Then you want to install. So Ruby DK.rb installed. That's done. Then you want to install this gem this this is json gem it's very simple say gem install json uh hyphen hyphen platform is equal to ruby and this is going to take a bit longer after this gem is installed we want to check whether everything is being configured properly so config to check the configuration we need this command here so it's very simple if you get 42 in return that means everything is okay type everything correctly and press enter and if you got 42 here that means it's perfect now i'll go ahead and exit and close this one i'll open my cmd again I want to check the gem list. You can see JSON is installed here. JSON. I'll clear it. And I want to install the bundler. So gem install 
one blur and let it be installed. Shouldn't take long time. Now you can see it properly. If you need to stop the video because the first part, the initial part was very fast, you can do that. So bundler, you want to check the bundler. So bundler is 1.1514. Now we want to install Rails. Okay, so gem install Rails to avoid you know documentation. You can type this one. Our doc. So we do not need the documentation to be installed on my computer or our computers. So simply type those commands and press enter. This is going to take a bit longer because Rails is basically combination of a lot of other gems, a package of a lot of gems basically. So you can see these are all gems being installed here on in rails okay native extension may take a bit longer okay here we go WebSocket driver realities. That's done. So you want to check Rails as well. So Rails is basically going to be 5.1.3. And let me clear everything. Now let me go ahead and create an application. So I'm going to to the desktop. On the desktop, I want to create a folder. So mkdir and the name of the folder that is going to be rbox, rbox, okay. Get it in the rbox here, cd rbox, enter, clear everything. Then to create a new Rails application, you type Rails, new, and the name of the app. So anything that you want to name it, and press enter. There are a lot of other features that you can a lot of other command that you can run with the rails new command let's say if you are going to uh, use a different database like mysql postgres that can be done on the same command but in this video i'm going to only use sqlite that comes pre-installed with rails and configured pre-configured as well So it's almost done here once this okay in the meanwhile what i will do for you you can see this is our box my app so let me go ahead and show you how it looks like i'll drag it here you can see this is your directory for my app so this is the directory this is how it looks like FFI, I'm not sure why it's taking too long. JSON, Puma is the server, okay? So you can check Puma in the config folder here. Puma.rb. Puma is the server, this is what we're going to run. This is the port number. Okay. Says. Okay, that's done. Then you want to get into the root directory. That's my app. And then you want to say bundler install to just check everything and all the gems. Could not find. Okay. 
I'm sorry. Install. Everything seems fine. Now you want to run the server. So Rails server H is going to be all the commands that you can use in Rails server. Puma, this is basically all the options you have. You can have a look. You can run Rails server or simply S for server. And this is going to launch your server. You can see it's going to be here so you need to just launch the browser and check here localhost three thousand you do not need okay it's taking a bit longer here so for the first time it may take long time I have different servers running on my computer hmm. completed so you got it here as soon as you got this 200 okay that means that is HTTP request so this is Ruby on Rails 5.1.3 with Ruby 2.3.3 on Windows 10 computer. This will work on Windows 7, 8, 8.1 and 10. It may work on Vista as well, but not Ruby. Sorry, XP, XP needs, I think if you have XP or Vista, you go with Rails, sorry, Ruby 2.0 and go with Rails 4. Point something, okay? not fine so thank you so much that's it this is how we install ruby on rails on windows 10 computer thank you and have a good day bye for now take care